Happy Sabbath. Happy day. God is good. How are you? Yeah. It's another Sabbath morning that we have met here today. And we are going to study the real time lesson. Before we start, I would like us to remind ourselves of about what we learned last Sabbath. Where we saw the topic uh, living in the material world. Ambabo tuliona kuwa yale yote yenye tukonayo ni ya Mungu. Si yetu kazi yetu tu ni kufanya nini? Ni kuangalia taking care of being stewards. Mm. Kwa hivyo yale yote yenye unaona kwa hii dunia ya yes, tufanye yes, tupotee tutoke kwa matumaini ya Mungu. Siku ya leo sapato nyingine ambapo tunaenda kuangalia lesoni ambayo iko na mada God is ama. Before we start, let's pray. Father in heaven, we glorify your name. We thank you because you love us, Father. Thank you for today and thank you for the gift of uh, grace that you are giving us, Father. As we are going to start the lesson, be with us, Father. Help us to understand your will. And that's our humble prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God is Amma. I think you have had some lessons from other classes that's through online. I think I, the, there was a lesson about uh, the goddess Amma in the PowerPoint lesson. So today we have that topic also. And we are going to understand what is this goddess Amma? Goddess Amma. Yani, it's more than a shield. An armor is more than a shield. Yani, armor ni, ni zaidi ya the shield. Yenye tunajua ambayo mtu anachifunika tu uso peke yake, lakini ya pasa edizu ingine haja jifunika. Kwa hivyo, ama is a, is a metal-like shield which somebody covers him, him or herself during the, maybe a war. Hmm. Sana sana kuna some, there are some movies that we watch that, uh, that of Jesus Christ, we, we get to see that even Jesus Christ, those, uh, those soldiers were covered themselves. Na pata hapa kuna kashild flani, hapa kuna kashild kengine, hapa kwa migu. That shield, we are going to get it from the book of uh, Galatians. We will understand it well from the book of, uh, not Galatians, but Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 17. We will understand that shield. So, today's lesson is read by the key text from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 9, verse 24 and 25, which says, <clears throat> Do you not know that those who run in a race all run? But one receives the price, run in such a way that you may obtain it. And everyone who completes for the price is temperate in all things. Now, they do it to obtain a perishable crown, but we for an imperishable crown. That's First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 and 25. The belief number 22 is going to open to us what is this good armor. That is the Christian behavior. What are you supposed to fill yourself with in your mind? What are you supposed to feel? Hmm? How are you supposed to react when something happens? So we, are, we, we, see, we see that we are called to be a godly people who think, feel, and act in harmony with people called principles in all aspects of personal and social life. For the spirit is recreated. For the spirit to recreate is in us the character of the Lord. We involve ourselves. Um, we involve ourselves only in those things that will produce Christ-like purity. 
healthy and joy in our lives. This means that our uh, amassment and entertainment should meet the highest standards of Christ, Christian taste and beauty. So everything that you do, do it in the glory of God. Chochote chenye unafanya penye unatembea, vile unaongea, vile unafaa, the way you dress, matters a lot. Will show us this a Christian, this a, a normal person. Mtu wa kawaida, huyu ni mkristo ukweli. Hmm? Kwa hivyo, what we do speaks louder than what you, you can even speak. Hmm? I would like to bring a scenario about the being the best in us, having the best in us. Ambabo ni hadithi ya vijana watatu ambao walikuwa wamejiandaa kwa kukimbia. This was a called a special olympic in the mid 1970s. Hawa vijana walikuwa wamejiandaa vya kutosha. Na mashapiki walikuwa wanawashangilia kila mahali kutoka pembeni za uwanja. Sasa wakaweka waka, wakaanza kujiandaa kukimbia. Waliposikia kidude kimepiwa pi kwanza Mungu ni, kwanza kukimbia wakatoka lakini kijana mmoja akaanguka chini kwa bahati mbaya akaanguka chini wale wenye walikuwa washatoka wakilipoangalia nyuma wakaona ni rafiki yao ambaye analia sana ilibidi warudi nyuma waende kumulete wakaenda wakampepa wakamweka waka kwa mapega wakatembea na yeye pole pole mpaka mwisho na wote wakamaliza kukimbia kwa pamoja so they finished the race at the same time so we had to understand that these people these boys showed out a christian character on how we are supposed to do hmm? This word of God that you are supposed to spread is not personal. It's not all selfish. It's something that you are in a race, but you go all of you. That's how we were gifted. When we read from the book of uh, Colossians, chapter 3, verse 7, it says that whatever you, do in, uh, whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ giving thanks to God the Father through him ni mfano mkiwa mmeenda mko shuleni simefika ijumaa that's friday in the afternoon na muwe muone kuwa you are you are free hata asusia hata ni lazima iwe ni shuleni hata uko nyumbani muone kuwa friday in the afternoon mko free na mseme kuwa wacha muwe na two groups Pate kuwa group ya kwanza inasema tuende kutembelea marafiki zetu. Group ya pili inasema tuende kucheza. Ukiangalia vizuri, hii app penye mnaenda kucheza kuna vile mtu ataumia, kuna vile watu watakosa kusikizana. So you get that? Mtakuwa na katika hali ya njia mbili. Nifuate gani niache gani? So, mwingine aleta suggestion ya kwenda kufanya nini? Kuona mgonjwa. Which route will you follow? So as a Christian, you have to consider the priorities. How do you prioritize your chances that you get? Mm. So, it's good to take the suggestion which creates or shows out the Christ-like character. Jesus Christ, what he did to us. Mm. Leaving everything and following you to the point that he died in, at the cross. Mm. So, the biggest competition that we have is not the, the, the biggest competition a Christian will face is not the kind of the sports in the field. This is, uh, this is a competition of spreading the word of God and getting salvation. All of the people, a group, not an individual. Mm. So, it's good for us to prioritize the word of God 
the Christ-like character such that we can get our friends love others. So, as, a, as I'm concluding, I will say that you go and read from the book of Proverbs chapter 19, verse 11. Proverbs 19, verse 11. James chapter 1, verse 19 and 20. Uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10. And uh, Ephesians, the one we said, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11 to 17. Penye tutapata kuelewa vizuri the God is ama. Hmm. Ambayo si the fisco ama yenye tunaona kwa movies mingi ambapo wanajeshi wamejifunika nayo. Ni ama ambayo ikona the truth, that is the guided your waist, righteousness, the pressed plate, gospel of peace, the short you are fit, that is a yenye unafunika migu yako. Faith, that is taking the shield, that is salvation, the helmet, you know, fuck you, church, jako. We have the whole spirit, that is the sword, in you takuwa nayo wakati, umejiami, kwa spread the word of God, kwa kupambana na vita vya shetani, vya muovu, that is the word of God. Mm. So, I would like you, I would like to thank you for listening to the lesson. And I like to ask you that to remember that next Sabbath we have only one lesson, one remaining lesson for this quarter. Plan to have your own lesson such that you can go through the lesson and understand the will of God. Thank you for listening and take time to read the, your Bible. Be the Bible student now and then. May God bless you. Let's pray. Father in heaven. So at humble time, we thank you for the start of the lesson, Father. Thank you for helping us to understand your, ha your armor. Father, so you have said that the, the truth, the righteousness, salvation, and faith that we have is the shield that the Christian is supposed to have. It's the armor for the Christian, Father. Help us to understand it very well and do according to your will. Be with us that this is our humble prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.